it's time for another mukbang. Tonight we're having Brenner breakfast for dinner. And the beverage is Pepsi. Anyway, I got my little camera thing propped up, but I don't think this is going to work out very well. So, guess what? I'm back to holding it again. So hold on, gang. Okay, now you can see my food. I made fried eggs. I got toast. And fried potatoes. And my favorite, tomatoes. There. So, let's see what the potatoes are like. Mmm, really good. I got my eggs kind of supposed to be a little bit runny because I like dipping my toast in it. But, I guess it didn't happen this time. Oh well. So, do any of you ever eat breakfast for dinner? I know, I'm all screwed up, right? Because you see me eat my brunch, which is my breakfast and lunch. And most of the time it's um, sandwiches or something that I should be eating for, for dinner. But I'm having it for breakfast or lunch. And of course I have beggars. I don't know why... They're so hungry all the time. They get plenty of food in their dish. They get dog cookies off and on all day. But they're still hungry. I buy them the Benefil dog food. Because I think, I get them the one with the salmon in it because I think it's healthier for them. Gee, my toast sucked up, soaked up all the butter. I don't know which side's buttery. Tastes kind of dry. Oh wow. So, do any of you live where the hurricane's going on in Texas? That hurricane's very devastating. I'm trying to figure out how to hold hold this. You know, I think when I get some more money, I'm going to buy like a selfie stick or something so I can hold this. Because sometimes when I'm on here, it seems like I cover up the mic and I don't want to do that and then it sounds all garbled up. So, I watch a lot of YouTube because I don't like TV, as you know. And I watch Mook Bombs. I like Nikki Avocado. He um, ate like six Big Macs on his last video. I'm like, wow, how can that skinny little guy put all that Big Macs in there? I used to be able to eat two, but I could never eat all my French fries from McDonald's or any of these places. I don't know, I just don't have a taste for the french fries. Now see my egg. I wanted my egg runny so I could dip my toast in it, but it's not runny. And, uh, I watch Granny Karma. She's a little old lady. She's 68. She's 10 years older than me. She seems kind of nice. She had a controversial video, though, about um, religion on there. My opinion, which doesn't really matter. I, did, I felt that she shouldn't have done that, but, you know, it's her channel. Do what you want, girly. But she has some really good food on her muck bombs. And uh, she's been eating at, like, Five Guys Hamburgers Place. I never ate at those places yet. They look really good. 
and I watched Smash Mama, and her wife makes really nice food. Very impressive food. They eat like vegan food. They're not vegan, so, but they eat vegan food. And they make this cheese. It looks so good. So check out Smash Mama's channel too if you get a chance. And then I watch Mukbang Mama. She's really cool. She's got really pretty blue eyes. And she's kind of trendy. I like her channel. Hmm. I bit my mouth again right here. And I watch her mom's um, Italian buck mukbang nana. I'm probably not saying these right, but it, I'm sure if you Google it on YouTube, you'll, it'll come up with who I mean. Um, Angie Eats, that's a good show. And Vicky, she has a mukbang channel, that's a good show. She talks about her chickens all the time. She has pet chickens. And then for regular channels, I watch um, Chickens by the Lake with Michelle and her son Nate and her husband Bruce. They're an interesting bunch of people. They really are. I like their show. They're very thrifty. She cooks her some really good food too. Michelle does. And her husband he, he like he finds stuff and he fixes it up and it turns into really nice things recently on one of her shows he built a pond like a well he they had a little pond for their little goldfish for outside but he built a fountain for it or a waterfall I don't know what you want to call it but, and it has a little bridge it's really cute and they have a son, Nate. They homeschool him. And he's a really nice kid. I think one of these days he's going to start a channel. I don't know when, no, but I heard that he might start a channel. That would be really cool. And of course, I watch the big guys. I watch Roman Atwood. He don't do so many pranks anymore, thank God. And I watch my favorite. <clears throat> Fousey Tube or Use of Cat. He has a new channel called The Cat's Family. You gotta watch that channel. It's really good. He has like a lot of family stuff. He's totally different than he was on his other channels. His mom has like her own like little spin off of that channel called Cat Chef. And she cooks some really good Arabic food. I mean, just regular food. Today she made some cinnamon toast crunch French toast. Can you imagine that? I'm not gonna tell you how she did it, but you've got to go visit the Chef Cat and look. And it seemed really easy. And who would have thought? That's all I want to say. Who would have thought that you could do this to make French toast? But you guys probably thought that because you guys are smarter than me. But uh, her channel's really good. And then Yusuf's brother has a channel called uh, The Cat Doctor where he's a dentist and he gives like all kinds of good tips on how to take care of your teeth and stuff. I like his channel too. And the cats, the cats family, it has his brother's kids and his mom and dad. And it's really nice. It's a nice little family channel. It really is. I enjoy it. So check them out, okay? He's making me feel guilty because he's begging. No, Tippy, when I'm done, I'll hook you up. So I guess when I'm done, I'm going to give him the hookup. You know what I didn't get? I didn't get ketchup for my plate. Oh, well, too late now. At least I have tomatoes.
how I made my fried potatoes is I took a took potatoes and I you know washed them off, rinsed them off really good. Then I peeled them and I cut them up in like little bite-sized pieces. And I put a whole on cut up a whole onion in the same bite-sized pieces. And put a little bit of oil and some butter in a skillet. And um steak and shake steak and shake seasoning salt with these potatoes. Oh my god, they're so good. Oh and garlic. And pepper if I didn't say pepper. I guess I'm gonna go away here in a little bit. Gonna go look at the casino, I guess. I waited so long to eat tonight, I wasn't even really hungry. After a couple bites, so yeah. That's why these things like right now I feel like a bottomless pit. I could eat another plate of this. But I'm not going to. <coughs> Feels like my plate's gonna fall. Hmm. Hope not. I'd cry if my plate would fall. Oh, there's another muck bomber, Team Dave and Monica. I think that's what their channel is. She's pretty cool. She sings. She does singing and different stuff on her channel. <clears throat> my son, my young son, he wants to start a um, a vlogging channel. Or he rides a motorcycle and um, with a GoPro and vlogs. I don't like the idea of him on a motorcycle, but it's really mm, not my thing. I worry too much. Motorcycles out here in Nevada seem to go splat. I don't know why. Cringe. I don't know think of that. So does anybody watch Amber Lynn Reed? <clears throat> she goes live on YouTube, but you can't comment because for whatever reason... Her comments go to you now. I don't know how that really works out, but you can sit and watch her for a whole hour. And she can't get your comments. Other people are commenting. But for whatever reason, she can't read the YouTube comments, only the you now comments. I don't get it. I, I am not going to download you now, just to talk to her. I wish she would just be regular like the rest of us. Well, <clears throat> this is really good. So has anybody been in the dollar store? I haven't yet for a while. I want to go to the dollar store this weekend and buy some stuff for fall to put in my house. I already have this. This is from last year for fall. I try to put like flowers and stuff on my table to make it look pretty. I have the owl with the sunflower things in it. I'm going to have to get rid of that and hide that back till spring. And put more like fall <clears throat> fall stuff on the table. I 
know, I like fall better than I do summertime. Summertime is just too damn hot. Well, I like it when it's like a normal summer, but we've had a really hot summer. And over the weekend, coming up, we're supposed to be back in 100 degrees. And that's BS, I'll tell you. What is going on with this weather? we got floods everywhere. Temperatures that's too hot. I don't get it. Oh, you know what I should have got for my toast? I should have got some jelly. Dang it, why do I think about all this stuff after I'm almost done eating? It's better to eat at home. My daughter and her guy and baby's mama had a little sandwich from McDonald's earlier and they, they all got sick. And for whatever reason in my head I thought, no, I don't want McDonald's. I'm going to wait till I have my supper at home. And I'm really glad I did because all of them had the stomach ache. Oh. They had chicken McNuggets and a double hamburger or like a McDouble and I think Christina had chicken well Christina had a chicken sandwich and my daughter and her guy they had Mc, McChicken McNuggets and McDoubles I don't know sometimes when I smell that McDonald's food in the bag because a lot of times I don't like to eat inside. I'll be bringing the bag home and I'll say, damn, that smells like my wet dog. My dog's when I give him a bath. Mm -mm. If I eat inside though, McDonald's is too bad. I like their filet of fish. And I like their little salads. Of course, I like the apple pies. This Pepsi is good. You know what I did? I put it in the freezer because it was like sitting out. And it's got like little ice crystals in it. Mm. Yummy. Well, anyway, I cleaned my plate and I'm not going to entertain you by licking my plate. So. I will see you gangsters next mukbang. Later.